Hi, my name is Gabriel, and I'm an animal freak. I grew up in a rural area, completely surrounded by animals on a cattle farm. My family was, and still is to this day, divided when it comes to the selection of our pets. Most of them chose man's best friend as their number one. Or my grandfather and I, well, we went down the feline path. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a cute pup, but when your grandmother accidentally runs over your pet beagle, not once, not twice, not even three times, but four times, you start to think there's got to be a pet option that's smart enough not to sleep underneath the tire of a car. I haven't even thought about Toby 1, Toby 2, Toby 3, or Toby 4 in forever. May their memories be a blessing. So when my mother, proud mom of two very large English bulldogs, reached out last week and asked if I would make her a tie-dyed shirt with a large paw print right on the chesticles, I was excited to be able to give her something from her human son. So I'm going to start with a long-sleeved black t-shirt, reverse dye it, and then create a fun, bruisey galaxy, the galaxy, galaxy oh. using blues and purples. The lazy sons of bitches. Let's get started. I start with a damp black, 100% cotton, men's long-sleeved tee. I want the paw print to be just on the front, so I fold the shirt in half horizontally and then mark it. Then I fold the shirt in half lengthwise and mark that. Now, thanks to Mr. Google, I found a paw print icon, blew it up, and printed it out. I then traced around it using a white fabric pencil. Then following the line, I secured it with a rubber band. I then loosely crumple the shirt.
Now it's time to watch the clock again. On the dye rack, I apply a 2 to 1 water to bleach solution and then allowed that to process for 20 minutes. I then soak the shirt in a 5 to 1 water to peroxide solution for about 10 to 15 minutes. The shirt is then rinsed in cold water for about 5 to 10 minutes before being placed in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes. Once racked, it's set aside for 24 hours until it's practically dry. I apply a Procyon dye of grape to the center of the paw print. I apply dye powders in the shades of Strong Navy, Azure Blue, Turquoise, Blue Violet, Imperial Purple, and Ultraviolet. I then top with a layer of soda ash. And just like past creations, I want this piece to be completely saturated. So I flip it over and apply the dye powders to the other side.
top that with more soda ash and then carefully top the shirt with a layer of ice and even more soda ash. set aside to cure for 48 hours in a warmer space, somewhere between 68 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I rinsed it in cold water and then slowly increased the temperature to hot. It is ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried and ironed, it's packaged up and shipped off to mom. If you're interested in purchasing similar items, you can visit ogcreationstore.etsy.com or click the link above. Woof! I hope mom likes it. Exactly what she asked for. Something to show her love for her pups made by their big brother. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I love responding to everyone. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you next week.